Hello everyone and welcome to my session, Create Your First Power BI Real-Time Dashboard as part of the Cloud Lunch and Learn Marathon. Hopefully you've been enjoying it so far. My name is Roshona Elijah and in this session, I'm gonna take you through an introduction into what real-time dashboards are all about and then you can give it a go yourself. So there's a lab that accompanies this that you can work through at your own pace and it will take you through how you can use Power BI, Microsoft Forms, and Power Automate together to build your first real-time dashboard. Here's a bit about me. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and I work at a Microsoft partner, Barhead Solutions. My role is a Power Platform trainer. So my usual day, it's running training sessions and putting out content about the Power Platform. So we can show you what cool things you can do with this technology. Like I said, so the video here, I'll take you through an introduction into Power BI real-time streaming, and then you can have a go at the hands-on lab that's here as well. For those who are new to Power BI, just a bit of background into what that's all about. This is a no-code tool that allows you to connect to your data and then build out reports and dashboards from it. You can then share that with other people as well. There are tools as well for you to clean and model your data. And the whole idea is to build out these reports so you can get some insights from what you're finding in your data. If you've ever tried to publish out a Power BI report before, then this is gonna look familiar to you. Typically, you need to set up what's called a refresh schedule. So, you know, every hour, perhaps, if you want your data to update in your dashboard. But if you think about it, you're not really seeing the current information. You know, if you have maybe some form submissions coming through, or maybe you want to connect it up to any machinery, you're going to be looking at the information in the past. But what we get with real-time streaming is something that looks like this. We get this immediate feedback going on. The example here is a factory example. So it's connected up with different sensors and machinery. On the dashboard, you can see the different levels of each thing it's connected to as it changes in real time. So you get that current view of really what's going on. To go ahead and create a real time dashboard, you start off by picking from one of the three data sources that are available. The one I'll talk about today and that you'll try out in the labs is the API option. But Azure Stream and PubDub, those are the options you've, you, you'll use if you are currently using those services. So, you know, maybe if you have any IoT devices that are constantly generating this information and data, you can connect it up with maybe Azure Stream um, on your dashboard so you can view that in real time. With the API option we'll look at today, this creates a push data set. And this is really the easiest way to get started with real-time streaming. So it makes it really accessible. You don't need any of those other um, subscriptions like Azure Stream to use this one. Really what it does here is that it, it is what it sounds like. You're collecting data that's getting stored in Power BI service. So as it comes through, you can see it update immediately on your dashboard. We use this tool called Power Automate to enable this. There are some other ways you can do as well, but taking the no code option, then Power Automate is the easiest and probably the fastest way to go ahead and build this. And the other great thing is that we have access to all the different types of visuals you can use in Power BI. Whereas those other options that we looked at before, the Azure Stream and the PubNub, you're only limited to a few different visual types. As you're doing the lab, you can think about how, you know, you might want to apply this to some work that you might do or a use case that's suitable for you. Some common things that people usually do are, you know, for managing things like inventory management, any point of sale to see the current stock levels you might have. We're going to have a go at the survey responses. So this is one using Microsoft Forms. Um, as people submit a response, you can see the feedback immediately. That's also great for, you know, maybe for running maybe like an icebreaker meeting online. People can submit the responses and the group can see it in real time. 
weblogs, and of course, IoT devices would be the most popular one here. Sensors, machinery, you can connect it up and you can see those levels change in real time. So the lab, um, the document is along with this video for you to work through and have a go at yourself. What it's going to take you through is how you can, first of all, build your push data set in Power BI service. And that's going to collect some Microsoft form data for us. We'll then look at Power AutoReach, which you can then use to push those submissions out to Power BI service. So we can see that all getting stored here um, back in our data set that was created. And then of course, designing the visuals based on that. So we can have a dashboard that you can see on the side there off the screen. Feel free to have a go at the lab now. It should take about 25 minutes to complete. If you're building it, if you're giving it a go, feel free to also connect with me on LinkedIn. If you also wanna share what you've built, keen to see that. So you can just find me um, by my name, Roshona Elijah. Looking forward to hearing from you and thank you for joining and watching this session.